Oh shit. That is cool actually. As a short disclaimer, I have 3.42 gigabytes on my open disk, so... Okay, that volume is perfect. That way I'm not shouting like Meek Mill and at the same time. Okay, Zweig. I don't know how to pr pronounce that shit, but I was going to do this quest. I did this quest before, and to be honest, I got killed. Yeah, that's right. For the first time in this game, I've had a challenge, which is long overdue, considering the fact that. Everyone in the grandmother says that the Saga series is a challenging series of games. So I'm thinking it's about time, like, uh, everything up until the boss of that quest was difficult. No, no, no. I don't want to sign up for any tournaments. I like the cursor, by the way. But yeah, you're going to have to do a lot of grinding in this quest. In order to make up for the hell that you're going to deal with. There is no doubt about that. This region is actually really good looking. I mean, I like the logo for the N. It's like a creepy ass crescent moon with a face and it says N in bold text. Huh, <laughs> she she got hops too. Good to know that. I think in my last video I spoke about playing Final Fantasies 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls. Which I did and I did very well. But the next day when I tried like playing through it again, I realized that it didn't save anything really. Well, it saved it, but it wasn't a RAM save. Meaning that I could have loaded it up while I still had my emulator open, but once I shut my computer down, that's gone for good. Um, I've looked up some information online, because it was only like two hours of game, I think, so I wasn't stressed at all. But... I've a lot of people seem to have problems with the Visual Boy Advance, specifically, and almost entirely, Mac users. So I thought, you know what, I could really learn from this and ultimately I can get myself an open emulator or something of that nature. If I want to play through that game once again, and I might just do that. And I might as well, right? So you have to talk to the old man, by the way, if you want to get there, I believe. So now we're in Lance. One important thing I want you to do when you're here, and this is the thing I should have heeded myself, 
When you speak to this girl, she joins your party. Now, the reason I make a fuss about that is that... You should try to find a way to get Ellen to replace Sarah. Because, let's be honest, Sarah kind of sucks. Strength 17, 19, 21, 30. Okay, so she has slightly less dexterity and speed, but she has more health. She has more strength. Like, this should be no contest. Get that chick replaced. You'd be better off, trust me. Because for the next boss fight, our current party member set up because of that, like, filler member. It's almost useless because we need a powerful party that can take some hits. A lot of us just can't tank. That's a problem. How are we supposed to fight this boss fight that's coming up if you guys can't take a hit? On other news, I've been playing uh, Zeno Gears, and <laughs> for the past like three months, all you've been hearing from me. In person is how badass Zeno Gears is, so now that I have it, I should have less of a big dick about it. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. This is something you gotta look up. See, I just want to talk to this guy. So, what I'm going to do, and what I probably should have done, since this is getting in the way of my quest, I'm going to give up being a merchant. Now you get yourself a little bit of a quest, which is a good thing. It's a great thing, actually, because... We need a, not necessarily the EXP, but we need to build our stats. I'm going to make, I'm not going to make him a magic user anymore. I'm going to actually have him work on his spears.
Hmm. A killed by Sarah. So let me look at that guy's swords. That thief is holding somewhat of a... He's holding a saber, but he's holding it in a weird grip. He's got another sword that looks nothing like that. Looks more like a gladius. But that wouldn't make sense if he was holding a gladius. We're just clobbering guys right now. I mean, we're not even close to being ready for the final boss. I mean, for the boss of this side quest. But we got brain split, which is telling me that we're making similar progress, which is a good thing, actually. Yeah, she definitely needs her HP to go up. At the moment, I've learned my lesson, too. For thieves, they don't stand a chance. No matter how the battle plays off, so I'm not going to bother wasting weapons points. She's just spinning her way out of these attacks. That's cool. See, if her HP didn't go up, that would have killed her, most definitely. This is good damage, by the way. I like it. I didn't even see that guy. Hmm. These fights would be a little quicker if I actually like worked on some other shit, but hold on. Oh wait, his like dart weapons that costs JP. I didn't even know. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
we gotta do this like mini quest twice, so you're gonna be seeing this two times. I'm also curious as to whether or not I should give Katrina a curved blade. There may be something in my best interest later on. Even Sarah's bow is doing decent damage to these guys, so... That time, like, three or four guys got some decent stat boosts. Right now, I think Katrina's a little crappy when it comes to spears. Based off how she handled the masquerade. So, I tried having her use a curved sword, and she did a pretty good job, a pretty bang up job with that. So, I may have her using curved swords in the near future. Damn. She's got moves on her. Katrina can be a bit of a badass that way. And I mastered dodging sword cuts, so... That's an art that Katrina knows now. You get some weird stat boosts in this game. Or things you can master like dodging swords as opposed to dodging spears is like a well of course it's gonna be different I mean the spear is longer and the sword can go in like multiple directions it's not just thrusted into you it's also like swung around you slashed really Someone needs to teach this guy some new moves, boy. That was vicious. And now we got a broadsword, so... We got our paycheck. Now, as you can see, that thief area is nowhere to be found, so we gotta do that shit all over again. But I'm sure you don't mind, right? Nope, you mind. And now, where them ships at?
Tatiana is gonna like beat a death of me one day. So I'm gonna do really well on a quest, and then she's going to appear out of nowhere to force herself into my party. And then I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Tab. Okay, Katrina is really good with swords and spears, I believe, actually. Anyone else kind of good with swords? Thomas is like level one with a sword. I'll consider giving him something. What about Ellen? I mean, her stats are kind of boosted right now. Whoa, Robin. Have yourself a broad. I thought he was a spear user. It turns out those were rapier techniques. Well, I kind of knew that last time I was playing this, but I unlearned that, so. I might get him on that bandwagon. Yes, yes. Ugh. <sighs> that was relief right there. So am I even making a profit by taking this quest the first time? Because if you think about it, I got $1,000 out of that. And then it's going to take $500 to get to Zweig to get this shit started all over again. Well, next time I do this, I'm not going to have to spend that kind of money, so. Is there like a warehouse where I can switch up my characters? There's a weapons shop. So we got a great sword. That is starting to tickle my fancy. Two handed sword. In fact, there are a lot of things being sold here that grab my attention. We're going to be getting good money anywhere, so I'm not too worried about that. And before I got to spend money to get to my next destination, that'll eat, certainly, without a shadow of a doubt. But, you know, I could probably just spend, sell some shit. You see, to get to, like, one destination, or back from a destination, that doesn't usually cost dough. But when you take that one ship, that brings you to, like, multiple towns, that have multiple destinations within them, that, like, central hub kind of place, that's when you have to start coughing up dough. Let me talk to this old man. We're not in Lance right now, I believe. No, we're in Justern, so... 
to repeat the quest, we gotta go here. Speaking of which, tab. Let's give her a two handed sword. Let's give who could use a new sword right now? He's got a lot of weapons now that I think about it. It's cool that they have that shop, that weapons and armor shop with like a statue of a knight with his big ass armor. Now this one's going to be different from the last one, in the sense that, oh, I get all my longsword abilities. That's great. Damn. Okay, Sarah, for you, you need to stay alive. I'm not going to waste a healing item on you, but I'm going to assert that you need to stay alive. Because you are not going to be dead weight. I refuse to let Sarah be dead weight for our upcoming boss battle. Okay, battle hammer. Lots of good shit. I have a feeling this is a fight that's going to overstay its welcome. Okay, that's good. Sarah managed to clap one of them. Yes. But it's good that he's getting his spear stats up because that's what I want him to use. Yo. Kenji Ito is underrated. Look at all the look at the bass in this song. Well, listen to the bass in this song. Shit goes hard. Does it even need to go that hard? No, it doesn't. But he still goes hard as fuck anyway.
that kicking animation right bef right when you can select what move they can use. It's funny. One thing you gotta appreciate about the Saga series is that I'm shifting through these commands and I feel like the sound effects are less obnoxious. Okay. Even though I constantly hate on Tatiana, I'm impressed that she's been this well traveled for such a long time because every time we pull up in a new area, she's been there. But she's still an annoying mutant, and I can't really unequip her with certain shit. I don't know, maybe it's embedded within her body. We are just pulling out broadswords. Like. Three of these guys? Alright. Blunt strike. I'll use a roll up strike. I'll, I'll waste some of this. Yeah, that, that was really good. I mean, it was pretty costly on WP, but still. Did I give her another weapon? No. That like causes a status effect, I believe. Well, that's cool. That miss. Whenever I see a kanji again, if I ever see like kanji, I'll know what that means. Hey, master that technique. Good for him. Oh, I didn't even want to fight a snake. But I'll, I'll fight a snake if I have to fight a snake, so... 
I mean, yes, I could always escape. But come on, let's live a little. The next hit will probably do him in. The next hit that lands, that is. Of course. Snake scent found. Okay, for these guys, no mercy. That's probably a blinding move. This guy's always the first guy when he selects bolt, bolt pierce. Okay, that was excessive. Without a shadow of a doubt, that was excessive. Okay. Damn. Coming from Sarah, that's really good. And we got a curved sword, which I'm really happy about. Oh no, now they retreated. I hope this wasn't all for naught. Nope. Give me info. Good, I managed to catch one of them. Always ask for info, because that's going to get you to the thieves hideout. Don't ask for money because that's going to lower your morality counter or whatever it's called, a greed counter. And besides all of that, like, we really need to know Thieves Hideout because there are some good ass items in that quest. Everyone's in triple digits right now. That's that's all, mate. That's amazing, man. Now I'm looking for an inn in this area. Okay. Now let's, let's chop for some weapons, so we might as well. Long sword, big sword. So we start off with the big sword, which is a superior version of the long sword. I don't know why. Hmm. Let me look at Katrina right now. Okay, what about 
Sarah, she need anything? She needs another cell. Let's just get. Let's just start giving these people selves. Okay, Rapier has one more than a curved sword. I don't know why. I mean, I know, like, getting stabbed in the wrong spot will definitely kill you. But curve just hurts more than like a straight sword. It does more damage. <sighs> Probably why it has more attack power than the long sword and the broad sword. Okay. Oh, does anyone have the long spear? Like the spear users. Okay, so I don't have to worry about getting that. Okay. Still feel we have no business like equipping shit like this, but still. Okay, leather boots, vest. What what is that? Is that like a helmet? Okay, so Robin doesn't really have a helmet. Now we're stuck with like just 566 gold. That sucks, but still. Was that a bit excessive? Maybe. We're not. We don't have Ellen in our party quite yet, so... Yeah, I'm satisfied with what I got. Ooh, Stanley. Let's have everyone use simple attacks for now. Okay, I can see a bit of an improvement in defense. I don't want to just chalk it up to a placebo because I haven't been analyzing the numbers really well. But, while intuitions can sometimes mislead you because they're based upon preconceived notions, um, a lot of times, 
statistically speaking, they're usually right. Okay, the next hit should do them in. And we got some good cash out of that. That's fantastic. I'm not going to use any WP until, until, I get my, I get to the boss. Get it, man. We're we're just reeking in items. Oh shit, stone slab. That's why for a game like this, it's actually beneficial for you not to cut out any recordings. And to record all shitty and shit. Who's he gonna hit? Okay. That's right. Hit my guys that probably could benefit most with an HP boost well they need a lot of HP too now that I think about it cuz they're one of the fluffier characters I beat one of those guys in one round. That's actually pretty rare, unless I use like some complex text. Some heavy duty tech attacks. So I'll take it that our guys are getting stronger now. But we'll need to be able to do more than just wipe out one of them. Is actually a major grinding spot. Okay, there was no like entrance there.
bolted past that guy. <laughs> same sound effect, same kind of weapon in general. I thought that was amusing. Especially because they rarely use that one. I'm hoping that she can take two of those and still survive. Okay, so I think Sarah's in good health right now. I mean, her health isn't as good as ours when we started this game. It's not beginning the quest intro stage good, but she's well enough that she can survive two attacks. Which is all I need her to do at the moment. At least I think so. Who knows, maybe my standards are too low. Nice. I've given up on making Thomas, I believe, Thomas a magic user because I never saw much use in his spells. Is that a mistake? I don't know. You be the judge of that. S swords up. That's good. One of the main, many dangers of this game is that after a random battle, you forget where you were. And so an enemy usually can just sneak up on you. You lose your place in the gameplay world once you've hopped into the battle world for such a long time. Or you've gotten too into it. But right now I'm just spamming the confirm button. Check up. So, Nora, Robin, and Katrina. That's my bomb squad right now. Blew that the fuck out. Where the fuck did they go? So all you need to do to avoid Katrina murdering you is to say that you've been talking to some chick or that you've been talking to someone in a potentially romantic way. You know, I may consider that because Katrina is a bit of a badass and I probably wouldn't stand a chance against her in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Is the boss over there? 
Yeah, I think so. I'm not going there quite just yet. I'll certainly be murdered. Ah, oh, come on, don't miss. You're our best hitter right now. His rapier kind of looks flimsy now that I think about it. Wow. I guys suck. Nah. Nah, my guys are awesome. I take that back. Aw oh, man, I tried so hard to cat daddy my way into the treasure chest and away from the encounter. But it wasn't meant to be, I guess. No one's learned to tech in a while, uh Like for something like a rapier, I would expect the metal to be a lot less flimsy because it's gonna be thrusting a lot. And a thin, flimsy piece of metal isn't good for stabbing a good person. It really isn't. Okay, well... By the way, I've taken all the treasure I can take in this area, so... That's all the more reason for me to just... Bum-rush my way through this stage. Through this quest, actually. That slowdown kills. And unfortunately, it never makes its mark to the right target. It always kills me. Tab. Yeah, Thomas is almost start of the quest level, or intro to a quest level good. So he may be an honorary honorary bomb squad member. That sound was disgusting. I saved because the boss is almost here. I want to show you guys how real it is.
So he says, I can play blind and I can give you this amount of money. I should have said no, but I thought overlook is what it meant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. When you overlook, you can never go back to that area again, I believe, until you do like one quest. But it won't be thieves you'll be dealing with. It'll be demons. So, we're not going to take that shit. Nope. You gotta reject his offer three times, and then you can get into a really difficult boss fight for... For me right now, because I'm not that Gucci. Hey, your weapons points has gotten up a little bit. Beast Chaser. Rotation. Stone Slab. So as you can see, she stands no chance. In fact, the same can be said for a lot of my party members at the moment. Roll up strike, rotation hit. Squall, punch. Long spear. He only has like one damaging spear attack. And that's the other thing that's annoying about this fight. Oh, and you, if you fail to kill both of these guys in one round, then you get two more on top of that, so we can't be having that. Yeah, he hits like a truck, so. If I lose, I'm just gonna grind up and record another episode somewhere in the distant future, so. I ain't worried about much. Looks sweet. It'll be a lot more difficult without Sarah, but... Because I won't be able to get as much hits in on the Great Thief, but... How much health does he have, by the way? It has to be a lot. I'm glad we can get another hit on him, it, it seems. Well, I'm glad I've learned my lesson from my previous encounter with this guy. And now no one's here, so if you wanted to get the treasure then, I think that you should have probably went straight here. Unless the treasure disappeared with the thieves, then 
don't heed my advice at all. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I never do. That's why I use walkthroughs while I'm playing through the game, and I still don't understand the core elements of the gameplay. But I still find ways to like the game either way. And that's probably because of the music alone. So we got Farce, Stanley, <laughs> she doesn't even get a bed, she just sits and watches. That's actually more sad and creepy than it is funny. So I'm probably, I probably shouldn't have laughed then. I probably should have like, went into full hysteria mode and started like, screaming and chuckling like a motherfucker, but still. That closes this recording session. This has been Mr. Walk 7 and suck my dick. You know, the usual shit.